parole board has denied early release for a man convicted of killing a Lexington police officer. Glenn Donahue is serving a 20-year sentence for manslaughter in the 2010 hit-and-run death of Officer Brian Derman. He pleaded his case to the board this morning from the Little Sandy Correctional Complex. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is in Elliott County now with reaction. 39-year-old Glenn Donahue spent about 45 minutes in video conference with the state parole board talking about his time here in prison and why he feels he should be released early. The hearing started out with parole board members asking Donahue what he had done to get where he is now. That second-degree manslaughter conviction for the hit-and-run death of Officer Brian Derman. I have an appeal in right now, so my 14th Amendment right says that I have equal, equal rights and protection of the law which means that I cannot or should not speak on anything that might later incriminate right. me. So I'm not at liberty okay. to discuss that. Because of that appeal, the death of Officer Derman was not discussed during the hearing, instead focusing on the convicted killer's criminal record that includes numerous drug-related offenses and assaults. Donahue's behavior and activity while in prison was also discussed. He explained several programs he has completed, including one called Cage of Rage. As well as classes like horticulture and carpentry. Donahue says he has spent time reading and studying the parole board book, then working to do what is needed to get that early release. Pretty much done all that you guys have asked of me, uh, you know, couldn't do any more as far as uh, staying on the requirements or request of the DOC and the parole board and everything of that nature, but. Uh, other than that, just to make you aware that I have pretty much done my part. The board spent about 10 minutes discussing Donahue's case, ultimately deciding to deny him parole, saying he could come back again in two years. In Elliott County, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Now, Donahue has fewer than seven years left to serve out his 20 year sentence.